Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And yes, there's something new. I got my hair cut short. A little bit shorter than I wanted, but hey, my God is still pretty big. And that's the title for today. My God is so big. There is an old hymn called Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 though the darkness hide thee, though the eye of sinful man thy glory may not see, only thou art holy, there is none beside me, perfect in power, love and purity. My brother Jim was killed by a drunk driver during the pre-dawn hours of April the 5th, 1983. It was an incredibly traumatic experience and much of that week following his death is a merciful blur. On the Sunday before Jim's service, I attended my church's morning service Having flown into Calgary from my mission base in Ontario, Canada, I was heartsick. Jim was one of my best friends. He was my protector and my cohort long before I could remember. He was my childhood playmate and he was my confidant as an adult. Jim and I spent the early years of our Christian walk at the church that I was at that particular week. It was family. I tried to enter into worship, but as I raised my hands, they felt empty. Exhausted by such a heavy load, I sat back in the pew and offered an apology to the Lord. I just couldn't enter in that morning. Although I sat in an emotionless bubble, my spirit began to stir within me as the worship team led us in that old hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy. I found myself on my feet with my arms outstretched, much like a little child would hold out their arms in the hopes of being carried by their daddy. As the verses continued, tears began to flow. Though the darkness hide thee, even in the darkness of my heart, I knew that God was carrying me. He carried my questions, my doubts, and my pain. It was a sunny spring morning when I left church that day, and I could see the rocky mountains in the distance, majestic and quiet. I knew my God was so big, so strong, and so mighty that he would not stumble, and his strong arms would carry me through the difficult grieving process that still lay ahead. How comforting is it to know that the vastness of God's powerful love is always there in the midst of our deepest pain. When we realize that the creator of the universe, the one who calls the stars by name, carries each one of us in his heart he is intimately acquainted with our every thought. And there is no thought that we have that will ever cause him to turn his back on us. He heals those wounded places and he loves us. I pray that if you are in the midst of that painful loss of any type. It can be of a person who just passed. It can be the loss of a job. It can be a loss of a home. Wherever that place of loss is in your life, I pray, Holy Spirit, God of all comfort, make yourself known right now. Come into their room. 
invade their space with such a sense of your peace and your comfort. And Lord, if they need to just be in that place, just with you, please give them the grace to just rest in that place.